our guest this afternoon is an artist who has earned his art by making music from the happenings in the society as well as personal experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show this afternoon, Ayom Maf. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm Great doing to have good. you here. Yeah. So, Nobody feel cool. good to you pass your mama. Omo, throw them in law no ja. The thing where you do for me, my brother. Moranti, throw them in law no ja. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love the vibe. I love that, you know, you took your name from your surname, Mafoluku. <laughs> yep. yeah. And then you made it a thing. And then when you came in, I'm like, ah, this bag. <laughs> Are you carrying it? Is it part of the swag? And it went, yes, it is. And I'm like, okay, bring it on. Tell us about it. What's this your style about? Yeah, like, just the gangster thing, you know. Ah, 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 ah. Are you part of a gang? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. It's just I know, a gangster I know. thing. Yeah. All right. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. When I was reading your bio and I found out that you're 19. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And that you've done a lot. And, um, you know, it was talking streams, Spotify, you having 10,000 followers, yep. you having 113, uh, you know, stream, uh, streams. thousand streams or something of that sort. And I'm like, oh, wow, wow, wow. I I'm so interested in this. So when did you even start to do music? Yeah, um, I started music when I was in primary school. But professionally, I started last year when I dropped my two-pack. Okay. Oh. Jama, Jama, and another day. So what glory to be, to, like, glory to go, like, a year today, so no Oh, it's day. a year today. No, like, yeah. we are here today. Okay, we are oh. here today. Okay, 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 fantastic. <laughs> okay, and so. Then there was one seven days. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and another one that you have yeah. in the Seven days, street and, thing. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Dilla. So, Dilla, yes. That one that has uh, Fireboy. Fireboy yes. on it. Okay. So how did you even meet Fireboy in the first place? How were you able to make that collaboration come to life? Yeah, like. My big bro, Fireboy, so he posted my song on the story oh. yeah, for seven days. So when he posted it... Did he know you before then? Um, I don't know, but I just... The, the day I realized him, like he knew me was the day he posted me. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, so when he posted me, he said superstar, and I was like, oh, that day Aww. I was like, I was the happiest person in the world. <laughs> so there was this night I was just alone then he called me and he was like you he tested me around 2 p.m i'm sorry 2 a.m in the morning then he was like pull up and i was Ooh. like like it was just like everything was just happening fast oh man so when i get when i got there i was like he was recording with some okay. artists in the studio. so it was just like they when they finished recording he told me you play me some of your stuff oh. yeah the first song i played him was dealer and it was like, I would like Yan a lot of things for this song. Oh. I was like, man. Oh. Like, from that moment, I know this is a life-changing thing. Fantastic. Yeah, I amazing. love the fact that you've been, oh, you've always been prepared. I mean, you know, what prompted that? Because, I mean, if he just called you, maybe he saw one song and he called you yep. and he said, play some of your stuff for me and you did not have anything to show for it. Yep. Yeah. It would have been bad, oh, yes, like you yeah. like <laughs> missed an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So were you thinking that a day would come or you just kept doing your thing? Yeah, I kept doing my thing. At the same time, I know someday, because this is my dream, cause, and I know dreams come true, because I know one day these things will happen. Mm. So when you started doing music, what was your family's perception? Because we've seen a lot of people who said um, their parents told them to finish school first, or that they were too young and they had to wait for a while. What was their yeah. perception? You know, <laughs> parents, they're always about school, school, school. So oh, when right. I started, my mom, just about school, 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 school. But as time goes on, she realized this is my thing. She's just like, okay, go, just do it. But please still read. So well, it's not you're still school. in school? Nah, I'm still in I'm school at the moment. Okay, oh, fantastic, nice. fantastic. So how do you feel when you go to school and your classmates are like, oh, that's a superstar? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? Because we've seen a lot of people say uh, when people start hating them and everything, they either start feeling embarrassed or they just want their privacy, how it uh, was before they became superstars. How do you feel? Um, well, I'm new to this and I'm getting used to it at the same time. So I, I went to school last week. Yeah, it was last week and the whole thing was just like, it's new, everybody just went, I was like, this is- They're the, fans in you. No, not really fun, because it's a fan love. And okay, I really, okay, I get it. I really, I get. really appreciate okay, it. Okay, I get it. Because it. like, it's just like me seeing the result of me working. Fantastic. Yeah. But, but do you get to do stuff for school? Like maybe you just sing, you would have like events, maybe an yeah. event or something? Yeah, sure, a lot is coming up for my school. Oh, and- What are you yeah. studying? Philosophy. What school uh -huh. are you in? Oh, you. Okay. Uh, nice. That's amazing. So now let's talk about your musical influences because, of course, everyone that started doing music 
before they decided to stick to one genre of music. Mm -hmm. They had people they used to listen to. They had people they looked up to. So who are your musical influences? Who are the people in the industry that you listen to their music and they inspire your music? And then what is your genre of music? Yeah, growing up, I'm from Bariga. So growing up, we all listen to Olamide. Like we do listen to Olamide a lot. So Olamide is this big, this big person we look up to like, bro, I just want to be like him. I want to, you understand? So mm. he's very, very huge and we love him so much. So generally, I would say Olamide. So my, my type of music, I would say my type of music, I'm very versatile. I don't make, I can just wake up this morning and say, yo, I think I'll go for R&B. Mm -hmm. This morning, I think Afrobeat. Tomorrow, I think I want to take a summer piano. You understand all of those stuff. It just <laughs> depends on the mood, the atmosphere at that moment, the things I see. Because most, most times, I sing with the things I see. Okay. Oh, that's that's amazing. From there. Yes. Yeah, so guys, um, I'm sure you guys have been wondering what we're talking about, Kim and Fireboy. Let's check out this video, Dealer, featuring Fireboy. Uh, say. So, who's your dealer? My mom is my dealer. <laughs> and it's so interesting that the best man, our producer, is yep. in the studio and he was singing this word along. for word yeah. along. And, you know, I'm like, ah, ah, yeah, fans, oh, <laughs> ah, 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 who is Roscoe? I <laughs> <laughs> like the roast. Like okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, so now let's talk about music promotion. I saw all your statistics on TikTok, on all the streaming platforms. How were you able to achieve all of that in such a short time? For TikTok, I'm sure, yes, it could be challenges and all of that, people doing dance videos and all of that. Yeah. But how were you able to achieve that number? Because I saw you were, uh, was it top five R&B chart? You were top 200, Apple Music Nigeria, all of those charts. How did you achieve it? Yeah, um, I can't achieve it alone, you know. There are people behind the scenes doing a lot of work just to get me there. So I would say a big thank you to my team. Okay. Without them, we won't be able to get all of this. Are you signed to a record label? It's just me and my brothers. Oh, fantastic. Oh, nice. Because ah, I, I just want to <laughs> ask. Record label Wahala. <laughs> record label Wahala. <laughs> yeah. so, so is there an affiliation to uh, Fireboy or, you know, YBNL or something of that sort? YBNL is always family. Like, YBNL is a family to me. Mm. Like, YBNL have done a lot in my life. So, YBNL is like, big shout out to my big bro, Fireboy, because... He helped me, like he helped me change the whole thing. Like I'm seeing my song number one in Lagos, and I'm I'm feeling like, is this really you, Hayo? I just like I check that every minute. I check everything. Everything has been happening so fast, and every time I just call my mom and say, "Mommy, your boy is here." Aww. I just feel like it's just it's just time to get like to work more. Okay. Yeah. So now, I don't want, I don't want to be here and be here again. I just want to keep going. Now you're number one, and there's a lot more to come. Obviously, you know that you have to do a lot more work mm -hmm. just to keep staying at the top. Mm -hmm. So, what are the projects you'll be dropping pretty soon? What should we be expecting yeah, sure. from you? I'll be dropping my hippie soon. Soon, like real soon. I can wake up tomorrow morning and say I'm dropping my hippie. Like, like, like even after I'm leaving here, I might just call you, Afa. Are you done with the songs? Let's put it out. Any collaborations? Now, Fabo is the only artist on my EP. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, what's your EP name? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I haven't concluded that yet. So you can just conclude now and decide to drop <laughs> it. Yeah, man. All right. So apart from your EP coming out, what are the other plans that you have? Or is there anything you'd like to tell your fans or you'd want people to know? Yeah, sure. There's a lot of things coming up. Yeah, I'll be going on tall well, one of my artists like my friend is an artist his name okay. is Shode. we'll be going on tour soon and where is the tour yeah just university stores okay okay, okay. Oh, fantastic, nice. fantastic. Yeah, so everything is happening and a lot of things is coming good music content a lot of things will like i don't even want to say some things but you get to see it when it's out mm. okay so you want to tell people how to follow you on all social media platforms yeah, on all social media platform, I'm Ayomaf, A Y U M E W F F. Oshamo, nobody if you go to you pass your mama, Omo, throw the milon oja. The thing where you do for me, my brother, Moranti, throw the milad oja. 
Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It was really, really great to have you here with thank us. Thank you very much. I'm yeah. a big fan of this show. Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. They're from um, Auntie Arike or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, like, I used to, like, then back, I used to roll, I used to wait for 12 o'clock to go out and watch this flash. Nice. Wow. Wow. And wow. now you're on the show. Yeah. It's, so like, it's just like a dream. Fantastic. Yeah. Good to know. Thank you so much for coming. All right. So, yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of Entertainment Splash yep. from Monday through, fr Monday through Friday. And, uh, well, we can't take happiness is free. Mm -hmm. We're so sorry because we know that there are people who have been waiting for that. Yes. It will come up, hopefully, next Friday. All right. I've done this with Lady Cat, and we have Ayomak here. My name is Honeypot. We'll catch you on Monday, bigger and better. And do not forget, you can catch us on YouTube, and there will be a recap tomorrow. Tomorrow too on TVC. Thank you so much once again for watching.